Today I'm going to show you how to tat a flower pendant using needle tatting. The whole instructions for this are available on Instructables under Learn Needle Tatting with my flower pendant. You may notice I've done this video before, but this time with talking. Um, what you need is a tatting needle, some thread, uh, size 5 and size 10 crochet cotton. I'm going to go ahead and do this slow to begin with so you can see how the double stitches formed. So that's the first half, and here's the second. It's basically a half hitch knot, and that is all you're doing. This flower starts off with a ring of six double stitches, one peacock, and six more double stitches. Now how you make a peacock, start the first half of your double stitch, but instead of pulling it right next to the other knot, you're going to leave it there while you finish the second half. Then pull them together, and this leaves you this little loop called a peacock. We use that for joining um, rings and chains together. So you go ahead and finish up your ring with six more double stitches. To close a ring, you're going to slide your needle through the knots, grabbing the tail with your finger down here so it doesn't close up all the way. You're going to pull your needle through that loop you just made and continue to tighten that until you have a nice ring. You're going to flip that ring over and tie a knot to close it. Next we're going to do a chain. You put the needle on the knot you made and start making your double stitches again. This chain is going to be 60 S's, double stitches, peacock, six double stitches, just like the ring. When you finished your chain, to pull that off, same way you did with the ring, and instead of grabbing that loop, you just pull it right through. You're going to notice that it curls up like that, and that's kind of what you want it to do. Flip it over, and tie that. This is going to be followed by another ring, exactly the same as the first. Now we're going to join these together. You can use a crochet hook for this by putting that through the loop and pulling up the thread, or you can just use the tip of your needle like I do, and you're just pulling up your working thread to attach it to the first ring, and then you finish your ring. And remember, when you close the ring, you want to grab that tail to make a loop. Tighten that shut, flip it over, and tie it. Now this pattern has five rings and five petals or chains on the outside. Though you can do this with more or fewer if you prefer. Obviously I'm going fast now because you've already seen how they're formed. When you go to add the next ring, you're just going in that first peacock again and grabbing up the thread to finish it the same way you did before. can actually start to see the flower forming. The nice thing about needle tatting is if you make a mistake on your stitches, you can literally just slide them right back off the needle and start over. You might want to pull the rings apart a little bit just so you can get a hold of that peacock when you're adding the last couple of rings to the center. 
Now if you make that first pea cut too big, you're going to have a loose flower. If you make it too small, your flower is going to be really tight. So you just want to try and experiment until you get a good fill for how big you need to leave that pea cut. Now these end ones on the chains are also a great place to add beads. If you want to add beads to your flower pendant, you actually want to load those beads on your thread before you start tatting and then pull them into place when you get to a peacot. You also might notice as you get closer to ending your pendant that it is terribly warped looking. This can be fixed with a quick press with a steam iron, although some people think that's the wrong thing to do with tatting and that you should block it by washing it and pinning it out. I however don't do that. So here we are at our very last chain. I'll show you how to finish up the pendant. Okay, so you've got your last chain. You pull that off and you're not going to tie a knot. What you are going to do is pull your needle through one of the stitches here at the beginning of the pendant. When you pull that closed, now you're going to flip it and tie it. And I recommend doing that one more time. Some people add glue to these knots. I am not one of those people. Now you've got these ends and you want to hide them. So what you want to do is take your needle, and if you haven't tied it too tightly, this should be fairly easy. You run it under the last few stitches, pull that through, and then you're just going to snip that off. Cut off the end of this, run the needle through the back side and snip that off. Press it, add a jump ring, and you have tatted a pendant.